here is one more video, ladies and gentlemen, from Yada Belly in a foreign. I'm Philip. And this one is steamed goopa head in oyster sauce. Yes, the same goopa head that we may be used to from the Caribbean. Um, I took a little uh, unique spin on it this time by adding some oriental flavorings, oyster sauce and the ginger. And then I upped it a little bit, I upped the ante a little bit and tried to create like a one pot meal. You know, normally we steam down fish with okra and, and then we eat it with crackers. Um, I did the, relatively the same thing but without the okra this time, I added other ingredients. And so, again, a unique twist, just something different, using what we have, turning it on for make fashion. This is Yardy Belly in offering. Enjoy this one. Today, folks, we are doing a steamed gooper head and my little twist on it today is I'm gonna be steaming gooper head in oyster sauce with a whole heap of vegetables and stuff and we're gonna try to make a one pot meal out of it and if you have not ever had steamed gooper head you miss something I'm telling you when this fish has been dealt with properly you know, there is so much meat in these areas, in the cheek, in these, I mean, it is crazy good. And I, normally they do this with like, um, with like, um, okra and, you know, Jamaican ways of doing steam fish. But again, this is the Yardy Belly take on steam group ahead. To add to the meal, I have some select, select choice of vegetables here ingredients that i'm going to be using uh we have some uh celery we have carrots we have ginger we have potatoes we have corn uh a little bit of onion tomatoes we have sweet pepper i'm going to be using some sriracha and a little bit of this uh, uh lee kum key oyster flavor sauce and I like it very much. We're going to use butter because, again, it's original steam fish, and steam fish always good with butter. I have some thyme. I have some parsley for garnish. I have some a little bit of scallion. And I have two pieces of what is called culantro or shadow benny. Um, I got this from, you know, Chris at CaribbeanPot.com. And big up, Chris. Thank you for your inspiration. And pretty much that's what we're going to be putting together today to make our steamed um, group ahead in oyster flavor sauce. I hope that you can one day try these dishes, you know, and on your own or, or maybe we'll link up. Let's see what happens. And I know the wife is very particular about this one because she's a fish person. She loves the fish. And then something there. So... Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully this one goes very, very well. I will take it through the process. Um, it's very, very simple. We cut the ingredients up, we put the fish in the pot, and we allow uh, it to do its job. Um, and we come back when it's done. That's pretty much Okay, folks. Here we are now getting ready to put um, our, our uh, steam group ahead together. And here I'm adding some extra virgin olive oil. And pretty much you don't have to use olive oil for this dish, but because we have made it a practice to cook with oil, um, with this type of oil, you know, we're using olive oil. And as I said, it's a slow dish. It's one that we just build on the flavors and allow the flavors to totally um, distribute itself in the fish. So here we're adding some garlic cloves. And as you can see, I've rough chopped the gar garlic cloves. Because it's going to be cooking so slow, it, it, more or less these things will, you know, dissolve into the sauce, into the, the meal um, before it's done cooking. All right? Uh, I'm, basic, I'm going to just be putting some ingredients together. Then I put the fish in. Then I season the fish. Then I put more ingredients on and allow the fish to do its thing. So the garlic is here, and it is uh, nicely perfuming the ear, the ear as, as the oil hits it and we're not even gonna wait on it to to get any color or anything like that we're just gonna add more ingredients to this and then we will be good to go and don't worry about the amount of oil that I have in the pot 
because most of the ingredients that I'm using um, is good healthy ingredients including the olive oil and it will be nicely distributed when everything is done. All right. Here I have maybe about uh, half of a, uh, a stalk of scallion um, or green onion if you call it that. We have some thyme here with good good old thyme that we always cook with. I'm, I'm, as you see, I'm not normally I would break off the little pieces or leaves off the stalk. I'm not doing that, t however, today because I want everything to be, you know, I want a lot of flavor. All right. Now here is my goop ahead. I've, we have two goop ahead here, and I split them in two. You know, and we're just gonna add them to the pot right now. You know, and then this this will just. You know, we want to cook this until these these the, the meat is almost falling off the this 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 head. All right, we're gonna just be doing it that way. So if you notice, if I leave it like this, half will be flavored and half won't be. But I will be adding more flavor on top of this anyway. So don't worry about it. When I cover this pot, everything will sit and marry and do what it's supposed to be doing. Um, as I said, slow and good, good cooking. Okay. Here I am adding a little bit of, as I said, um, Chef, Chef um, Chris from CaribbeanPot.com. He told me about, um, you know, culantro, culantro or shadow benny, and I've been fooling around with it. Just almost the same, like um, cilantro, just the same, you know, herb, same type of spice in it and everything. Um, no difference. Uh, maybe a little bit more rugged, but that's pretty much it. All right. I have here some ginger that I've um, sliced up, and I'm adding the ginger to it right now. If you see, uh, I have green peppers and um, tomatoes. I'm gonna wait a little bit to add those because, again, I am the type of person who still wants the crunch. You know, I want some crunch from the food. All right. I'm adding one whole uh, onion, yellow onion. Not my regular Vidalia onion this time. I'm adding yellow onion. And I have two small um, potatoes that I've diced, and I'm going to add those as well, you know, and allow these to cook in the juice of the fish. Okay. One of the ingredients that I like using is all day, and from the other day it has been um, one of my favorite ingredients. It has a very nice flavor when added to seafood, and so I'm putting all day. Now, if you see me putting a lot, it don't mean that it's going to be overly spicy. It's just that I want um, the, the seasons to reach everywhere. All right? So um, you can add your all day. Maybe about a tablespoon or, a table, or two tablespoons. Um, of Old Bay would do. Again, most of the seasoning is to your taste. You know, you only put it as, as to what you are comfortable with. But a tablespoon or, or a tablespoon and a half should do for this amount, for these amount of fish, or for fish, all right? Um, this is adobe and adobo. And I don't use a lot of it because it is salty, you know, but um, I still recommend it because it, it does have um, good flavors, all right? So you can put your adobe. And again, if you put adobe, you don't have to necessarily put salt, okay? And my usual black pepper, all right? Now, again, all of this is adjustable based on your taste. You know, you don't have to stick to my routine. You can do it based on your taste. Okay. Now here I have some carrots that I've sliced, and I'm putting that in from now as well. And I have the celery that I'm putting in as well. And if you notice, um, I try to do the Chinese style um, chop on the celery because it's a Chinese theme, you know. Which I because I'm gonna go for one pot. I'm going to add some corn to this, you know, and 
generally we don't usually cook our, cook our corn during a length of time. You know, we, we sometimes we put them in the microwave and get some microwave action going on them. But again, one pot meal, maybe later on when it, the fish start to smell good in the house, the wife will put on some little spinners or so, some small dumplings. Otherwise from that, um, we just allow this to do its thing. Uh, I have parsley and some other stuff at the end that I'm going to add in. When this starts to develop, when it starts to spring juice and everything, I will come back and I will taste the pot to adjust the seasoning. Um, one thing I can't leave out in this one is the butter because, you know, it's, it's Jamaican steam fish style. We put a little butter in it and don't worry about the, the amount of butter, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it works. Trust me, it works for this one, all right? As I said, when they start to put on juices and start to spring water, so to speak, you know, we will um, come and adjust the, the, the taste again. So that's it. Pretty much this is going to be allowed to cook, to do its thing. As you can see, steam is rising out of it already. Um, we leave it alone and let it do its thing. That's our steam grouper head. And a little bit later on, I will most serve. As a matter of fact, um, not even later. Let me just do this now. Let me just put some sriracha sauce on it from now. Yeah. Yeah, the sriracha sauce is my, one of my niceties. You know, and um, later on, I'm going to put a, a scotch bunny paper on top of it and let it do its thing. Okay, folks, it has been maybe about uh, 20 minutes, maybe about uh, uh, since I put this, this pot on. And as I told you, I'm going slow and easy. You see the steam? You see the steam? That's what we call steam fish. All right. Now I'm going to add the rest of the remainder of my ingredients. I'm going to add the tomatoes and I'm going to add the sweet pepper and just allow this to continue the steaming process. You know, I don't even have to move this pot right now. Everything is going very nicely. And I'm going to add my oyster flavor sauce right at this um, time now and make sure that everything gets you know coated with it and stuff i'm using um as i said before lee cum key sauce and i've just um sort of diluted a little bit with water because i can't bother with the shaking to get it out of the pot, out of the bottle but this is it ladies and gentlemen and i'm i'm telling you when this is done everybody and them them pitney and the dog and everybody going to lick them finger um with this uh, steamed fish with oyster sauce. See you in a bit when I'm ready to plate. I'm going to leave it on again for maybe another 30 minutes, 35 minutes, just to, to just leave it. You know, this, the corn, in my opinion, the corn is actually ready to be eaten already because we don't normally eat our corn, you know, well cooked. But for this meal, I'm going to leave it and let the pot do its thing. Here we have it, folks. Our finished group ahead you know, steamed down with oyster sauce and vegetables. As you can see, everything is basically falling off the bone, the meat, everything. It's just a very good stew. We do hope that you will try this one if you have not yet tried it. And as I said, when you're in foreign or wherever you find yourself, look around for what is available and make the best use of it. Because that's the only way that you will truly appreciate, you know, the taste, the flavors that are available to you. If you look in the plate, you see that my wife has, in fact, you know, gone ahead and ha added some little small dumplings. And I'm telling you, this one is just going on real, real good. I have a twist of lime there, that you, a slice of lime rather, that you can add to it. And that, that's it. That's pretty much it. Hey, bon appetit.